What's up Scooch and Steve fans? Steve here today and as you can see from the title after a few dozen of you guys have asked about what type of camera equipment we use I figured it was time that we did a quick review of our camera. <laughs> So a lot of the questions that came in on Instagram and via YouTube were what camera we've been using for our past couple of episodes and the answer is Canon Vixia R400. Not a very fancy camera by any means, but I will tell you it gets the job done. Part of the reason that we started using it over a year ago for the vlog and the reviews that we've been doing is because it's an HD 1080 and just as you guys probably like best I like only HD videos on YouTube just like this one because I want my content crispy and I just I just don't want to have to have to worry about like looking at pixels and, and zooming in and, and all that another primary reason why we chose the Canon Vixia is because of the flip screen so as you're filming you can have this screen open I know that that's pretty common with a lot of cameras especially with vloggers like Casey Neistat but one of the key features here is 180 degree flip around I don't know if that would be 90 or 180 but basically you can walk around like this and you can talk to the camera and for one of my previous vlogs, we were actually using this, like the uh, kind of the famous vlogger style. It moves around really slickly. Um, and I really kind of like that as the main feature, the primary reason that we've used it is just the, the rotating flip screen. I really enjoy it. But, you know, when I've gone to conferences and uh, different places to get footage, the, the sheer size of it is, is pretty, pretty incredible. I mean, that's easily five inches with the battery on it uh, by like two inches. So super sleek, very small and HD. Like I was saying, I'm not sure maybe people in the comments below can talk about zooming, but I've never really been a fan of zooming. I'm more of a fan of framing and, and having one zoom on each shot. By no means am I like a uh, film director by by any any means at all, but I think that with this one, you know, it says 53x advanced zoom, and we've never used that. <laughs> we've literally only framed the shot and just had it going. So part of the reason as well is it's very mobile, but a big problem that I had with this early on, very very early on on this channel was that the battery went dead. So the battery is pretty much shot at this point and we have to keep it plugged in, which is a pretty serious drag given, uh, you know, it is really small and super useful to carry around and travel with, but if the battery's dead and you have to keep it plugged in and the cord's only like three feet long, there's really nowhere you can go uh, and, and be mobile, but you know, it has the SD card, has the HDMI cables, input, output, all the goods that you may want in a, I don't know if you can see that there, but everything you may want in a camera. I don't necessarily recommend this camera. I think that the HD, the flip screen, and the size are just my three kind of uh, triple threat of a, of a camera that I really enjoy, especially for YouTube. And you know you don't need something super super fancy. I get a lot of people asking me, like why, why have you guys kept upgrading your cameras when you know it's very basic content with just point and shoot. But I I like the idea of focusing on quality instead of quantity with all of our all of our episodes on Scooch and Steve mainly because I want to be able to look back at it, see the progress that we made as we started growing and and our audience has a lot to do with that i think that you guys have done an incredible job of giving us feedback over the years and and really done an amazing job of, of letting us know when we do you know do a good job and when we don't especially 
But yeah, I just really wanted to, to show you guys that, that flip screen. Like that was my primary goal of this video. And a few people were asking about uh, where Scooch has been, she's been working. She's actually going on to nights for a month and that's gonna be pretty chaotic. But uh, yeah, we'll try and get some new reviews with the new camera uh, that I'm shooting on right now, which actually is just my iPhone 7 Plus. And I love it for all my content. It's definitely way better camera than the Canon Vixia R400, but uh, it is, it is, you know, got to start somewhere. Everybody's got to start somewhere. So this has been a, a good camera. We're probably going to retire it now. Um, maybe if we go traveling at some point and need to plug into the wall and it has some features like stabilization that are quality, but overall this new camera on the iPhone 7 Plus is three, maybe four X the quality of this bad boy. So probably gonna retire it based on the battery. If you guys have any recommendations of what kind of camera we should graduate from after the iPhone 7 Plus, comment below. I'd love to know what you guys shoot with, um, what you're interested in as far as some of the packages that are on Amazon that are available, like the content creator packages. Uh, I'm always fascinated by creators that put their like long lists below in the description about like, oh, this is my gear, this is all my stuff. And I know that it's like affiliate linking and very valuable uh, for people to buy cameras that way. But I mean, I'm, I'm very much a fan of, of asking the community what, what you guys think is, you know, your point and shoot favorite camera. Obviously this is not like a snazzy one, but I have seen worse, so I feel good about that. <laughs> At least I've seen some pretty intense ones. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We will be back soon with another episode of an actual tech product review. This doesn't really classify because this is more of like a My Gear review and it is being retired, so not technically My Gear yet or anymore. The, f the current camera is the strategy, so enjoy this new footage. And we will be back in the next couple of weeks with a new video and I will be looping in Scooch so she'll be able to give you guys a little bit more insight into her product review side of things. But I'll see you guys again on another episode.